Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, and we've actually got some breaking news here on Dominion Voting Systems. Yahoo News is reporting today that Dominion CEO John Poulos is openly saying that the company is going to be going out of business. Things are that grim for Dominion. Uh, Time Magazine as well is reporting on this. The CEO is openly saying that Dominion Voting Systems as a business is ultimately going to go down to zero. Now, this news comes as a bit of a shock, given that Dominion recently got over $780 million in a defamation settlement with Fox News. According to the CEO, that settlement ain't going to cut it. It's not going to overcome the lasting reputational damage to the company coming out of the 2020 presidential election. The Dominion uh, CEO said that the damage inflicted on their reputation has put their business, frankly, on a downward spiral, in his words. And he believes it's only a matter of time before they lose all their clients and just fully go out of business. Now, if you don't know, Dominion is currently pursuing six other, I believe they're all um, defamation lawsuits. But in the end, even if you win all those suits, if nobody wants you, then you're done. And that's what this CEO is seeing on the horizon here. Now, if you don't know, um, several counties across the nation have stopped using Dominion. The latest has been Shasta County in Northern California. I believe they've returned to hand counting ballots. And in fairness, in fairness, as I understand it, Many counties are just nervous with electronic voting machines in general, so it's not necessarily Dominion here, but nevertheless, uh, that concern obviously affects Dominion. Antrim County, Michigan, uh, they've also ditched Dominion. And what you have to understand is that when a county says they're no longer going to be using your system for their elections, that's a lot of machines that are rejected. So when Stark County in Ohio decided they weren't going to be using Dominion, that resulted in a lost sale of more than 1,400 machines, 1,400. So as you can see, the number of counties turning their back on Dominion can add up and the amount of lost sales just goes through the roof. And that's why the CEO is saying that there really is no future for the company. But regardless, look, when all is said and done, I couldn't help but think how ironic all of this really is. And what I mean by that is this. Instead of engaging directly with all of the fallout from the 2020 election, Dominion and the powers that be, including every major social media platform, decided to silence rather than discuss, to suppress rather than you know work the issues out in the open. And the irony to that was beyond the pale given how the political left was completely free to say anything they wanted, no matter how patently absurd about the 2016 election and the whole Russia, Russia, Russia nonsense that ended up costing taxpayers tens of millions of wasted dollars on a completely unnecessary federal investigation. Thank you, Hillary Clinton. Given that absurdity, it was utterly astonishingly, embarrassingly astonishing the double standard that was imposed from the Trump-Biden election of suppression. I mean, if, well, of course it went beyond a double standard. <laughs> I mean, there was blatant collusion, at least when it came to Twitter, right? You look at the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story, first broken by the New York Post just weeks before the election. And the more we learn, the more sickening the collusion became. We now know, for example, the FBI paid Twitter over $3 million dollars as part of their censorship efforts. Elon Musk himself didn't mince words. He tweeted out, quote, government paid Twitter millions of dollars to censor info from the public. And not just censor, but out and out lie to disparage a laptop the FBI knew was authentic for months before that. And so look, I just have to say, regardless of where you stand on this whole issue, and even to this day, I have to be very careful about what I say regarding this on YouTube. I think the irony here is that Dominion is basically getting shut down in a manner comparable to the way tens of millions of voters felt their concerns were shut down in the last election. So there you go. We'll see how it all plays out 
in the end. As always, gang, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on Ron DeSantis destroying the NAACP as all the donations to BLM implode. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.